All right, Mopar people, welcome back to the channel. I'm just Mopar Joe. Today we need to find out what our big 508 weighs. Let me tell you about it and let's compare it to the other engine. If you will recall, I got a build series on this 400 here. It's a cast crank. Hopefully you can get in there and see the old balancer. Cast stock crank 400, uh, stock length rods, KB pistons, Edelbrock E Street aluminum heads. Uh, we compared that last time to my 408 stroker that I sold and pulled out of this car. I wrote those figures down again if you missed the other video, but the 406 big block actually weighed less than the 408 small block. A main reason for that was the big block has the aluminum heads and this one had the NDX heads that were cast iron. So the differences in our 406 and 508 few major differences. This has got the uh, 512 stroker kit from 440 Source. It is uh, also a RB block instead of a B block. So you see the pad on top there and it's a 440 block. Um, I believe they're about the same year model block. This is a 77. I think that was a 74 five over there. Uh, so B versus RB. Uh, they both have aluminum water pumps. These are 440 Source aluminum water pumps. Uh, these are the Indy EZ1 heads, 440 EZ1, uh, versus the Edelbrock E Street. So I would imagine these Indy heads weigh a little bit more. They seem to be, uh, which they have max wedge ports, they seem to be a little thicker head, uh, re really nice head. Uh, all the engines tested were uh, full of oil. I need to, I just got the spark plugs and wires here. I have not installed them yet. Uh, but I'll add them to our weight, just like that. So, and the distributor on top, I had to pull it out, uh, keep our chain from hitting it, that's all. I got another video, if you missed it, or if I haven't put it out yet, whatever, um, setting the valve lash and priming the oil system. So hopefully I'll check that out soon. It'll be a little longer video than this one, if you're into that sort of thing. But that's our major differences. Um, Having the big stroker kit in it, I'm certain that crankshaft weighs more than the uh, cast crank in the 400 here. And here's my goofy scale. Uh, uh, like I said, it's it's nice for the uh, people in Canada and all over the world that use the metric system because it is, I believe, in kilograms. There we go. And it doesn't have a way to switch it to pounds, so. I'll have to do the old uh, conversion chart here, but just to show you one more time, I'll back up um, and I'm gonna get it jacked up with the engine stand off here. So I'll go ahead and zero her out now. I'll pop this dude off and we'll see what she weighs. So several reasons why I think this is such a fun test. Uh, when you're going to big block swap your A body or E body or whatever, uh, you might want to know the difference. If you had that 408 is basically a 360 uh, that had a stroker kit in it and cast iron head. So if you had some stock cast iron heads, uh, essentially you would have that engine. Let me jack up on it a little bit here. So here we are. Got her levitating nicely. And I'm just gonna take my big wrench, pop these out of there. It's hard to do the old stuff with one hand. There we go. She is free swinging. And you'll see it when I do. Moving on back. He's just hanging out here. And we are at 242.4 kilograms. That comes out to be. The 508 stroker weighs 534.4 pounds. And you can see from my list here, it is actually 19 pounds more than the 400 or 406. It's only five pounds more than the cast iron headed 408. You see the difference. 
that 408 was 529. The four, uh, 440 block with the 508 internals, 534.4. I used the exact same hanging scale, exact same hoist, and the exact same humidity and the exact same shop. Everything was the same. Now the difference, I will admit to, um, the headers, the small block headers were about nine pounds less. I weighed a set of uh, inch and five H tube, three inch collectors and I weighed the hooker uh, competition uh, inch and seven eighths and three inch uh, collector for the big block. So there's a major difference of the day, only 19 pounds. You could probably, if you swap that into your race car, uh, you could find 19 pounds somewhere to shave off if you had to, to get that back if you were really worried about it. But a stroker like this, I would guess we'll make at least 600, 650 foot pounds of torque uh, versus a, and this is, you know, 10 and a half to one uh, versus my 10 or 10 and a half to one 408 was probably maybe 500 foot pounds. So major for 150 more foot pounds, uh, you know, you can have a lot more engine here and it's only 19 pounds is what I'm trying to tell you. Uh, I'm really blown away by that. And if you'll remember last video, I uh, compared the the weight of, um, I actually have a different video, comparing the weight of these Indy heads to a to a 915 uh, complete unmolested casting set of heads. Oh yeah. 34.4. A 915 head. That I got from my buddy Brian. These are totally unmolested, and I believe they have the smaller valves in them. So let's see what that dude reads. A 49.6. Uh, the difference in one of these heads and a stock 915 casting was 17.6 pounds each. So that'll give us about 35 pounds for the pair. So you would have to add that 35 pounds uh, to your 440 block and rotating assembly uh, whenever you were doing the swap. Anyway, I appreciate y'all watching. Hopefully this helped somebody out there. I thought it was interesting. I'll have the 68 Barracuda back to the track soon. Got my new converter in and I waited on the rain to quit. Uh, it rained all day today and finally the sun came out, but they had already canceled our testing tune. So that'll be next weekend. Come back for that and we're going to run the 508 soon.